there. I'm Jenny Oates and I'm excited to get a chance to talk to you about something that is really important in our doTERRA business and really important in business in general and with anything that you're doing in life. And it's the topic of why. Why are you doing your business? Why did you say yes to this? And this is something you've probably already thought through. You've probably already answered. Um, maybe the person that shared this business with you already had this kind of discussion with you and asked you why. Why is it that you are attracted to this? What is it in you that made you say yes? And maybe you answered that question in one specific way and maybe you've been at this business now for a couple months or maybe even a year and maybe that's morphed and changed a little. So those are a few of the things that I wanna talk about because as our business goes on, sometimes what we find is that our why changes. But I wanna to talk to those of you that right now, maybe you are right at the beginning of your business or you started your business and you never really answered the why question. Why are you doing your business? Why did you say yes? Maybe, I'll, I'll start you off with a few things. Maybe it's, uh, financial freedom. Maybe that was something that really attracted you to doTERRA or maybe it is time freedom. Maybe you have a friend that you know in this business or in this industry and you've watched them. You've watched them grow and build a successful business enough even to where they could cut some hours at work or they could stay home with their kids or they could even get to the place in their business where they brought their husband home from maybe his job that he wasn't really happy and I know lots of um, husbands or wives out there, they're totally happy with what they're doing, but maybe you've seen a friend who that wasn't the situation. They, they were able to get to the place in their business that they could bring a spouse home. And that's something that attracted you to this. Um, maybe it's health. Maybe you started this because you had an incredible experience with essential oils and maybe it impacted you personally, your health. Maybe it impacted um, your spouse or a child in your family or a loved one. And you've seen the power of what this can do for people. And that's a huge why for you. You wanna go out and touch people with these oils and change their life and be a agent for healing in their life. So I don't know what that initial spark was for you. Kind of think about that initial why as a spark. It's a little tiny spark that drives us to want to start and light this fire, this fire of our business. And I don't know if you've ever heard of a, an author named Stephen Covey, but he's written some incredible books. And one of his books um, is a book called The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. It's a great read if you haven't read it. They actually have one called Seven Habits of Highly Successful Teens. My, both my older girls have read it. It was part of our required reading for them. Um, they read a fiction or fun book and then we have them read kind of a personal growth book and that was one that was on the list early. And one of the principles that Stephen Covey talks about in this book is never start something without knowing where you're headed. In other words, begin with the end in mind. And that's what finding and discovering our why is all about. How can we build something and how can we hit a target if we really don't know what we're aiming at? We have to begin this thing with the end in mind. And sometimes I think it's hard for us to do that. And I'll tell you why. I think, um, I, I think from personal experience, I know that it's really hard to dream or to think bigger whenever your reality is um, kind of a mess. Maybe you're in a fin financial distress. Maybe you're kind of in crisis mode in your family right now. Again, whether it's financially or just the work life balance for you is so out of whack. Maybe you and your husband are working or you and your wife are working. Um, maybe it's just really out of, out of whack and you feel like you have no time, you're crazy, you're stressed, and it's hard sometimes. It's hard to think about why because it forces us to get outside of our current reality and to dream, to think beyond our current reality. And for some of us, we honestly can't see past today. We can't even see what tomorrow could look like, nor do we really have that hope or that belief that it could be better. And I'll tell you, if we don't have that hope that tomorrow can be better, our business is dead in the water right away, right at the beginning. And that is, that's one of the 
the key elements of you being successful in this is beginning to allow your heart to go there, beginning to allow your mind to believe that tomorrow can be better. And this isn't just a hokey self-help, like pump ourselves up. This is the stuff that successful people are made of. You will not meet a successful person that didn't begin with the end in mind, that didn't see what their current circumstances were and say, I'm not gonna dictate my future reality based on today's reality. I'm going to start what I'm doing right now, even though I'm in the pit, or you know things are falling apart and the circumstances of my life around me are not great, I'm going to begin with that future end in mind and keep that in front of me. But I'll tell you what starts to happen, and maybe this has happened for you. Maybe that's how you began your doTERRA business. You started with excitement and passion, and you had this why set before you, and then what starts to happen is this. Here's, here's us in our current reality, we, you know, we intersect doTERRA, we get excited, that spark is lit because we're dreaming. We're thinking about the future. And the future's way out here. We have that dream out here in front of us. And what we start to do is little by little, if our circumstances aren't changing, or if they aren't changing fast enough, i.e. our business isn't growing fast enough, we didn't hit what we thought we would, fast enough. We thought we'd be somewhere else by now. All these things start to wreak havoc on our belief system. And here we are, here's our dream. And what we start to do is we start to pull it back. Little by little, we start to pull that dream back to our reality. And guess what? We find that we never go anywhere. We never actually get here because we start pulling our dream back here to justify and um, meet our reality because we begin to justify in our head, maybe I'm not cut out for this, maybe I can't do this, maybe I shouldn't have said yes to this, maybe only a few people ever really are successful in this. So I wanna give you something really practical first off to help you identify your why, because maybe this is something that you're struggling with. The why is kind of the passion and the fuel in the tank that keeps you going. And I cannot stress this enough because even in my own life, I can tend to be much more task oriented and let me just check off a bunch of things and do a bunch of things. But I forget sometimes to go back and go, why am I really doing this? And this is something that I really, um, have been kind of diving into really for the last, I would say probably three months. This has been very much in front of me. And I've had to ask myself again, just you know, months in, a year and a half into our doTERRA business, I'm already revisiting this again. And um, that's, that's what's exciting is the more you do that and the more you begin to think this way on a daily basis, again, this is the stuff successful people are made of. They keep their why in front of them all the time. They begin every day with the end in mind, not just the end of the day, like, oh Lord, I can't wait to get to the end of this day, but they begin with the end, where they're wanting to head. They, they begin with that in mind. So when you're thinking about your why, what I want you to do is I want you to just write on a piece of paper, why did I start doTERRA? Or why did I start this business? However you wanna phrase that. And then write the first thing, the first thing that pops in your mind. Okay, then I want you to look at that statement and ask yourself why again. So for instance, let me go back, let me use this as an example. Um, when, when Nathan and I really got serious about network marketing and we got started in this industry and years prior, but I'll say, I'll kind of start us at the point when we got really serious about building a business. I had dabbled in it, I had had some success in it, I'd made some money, but we got serious as, as in let's make this a full-time gig for us. And at that point, um, <clears throat> We were, we, maybe you've heard this story before, but we'd gone eight months without a job. Um, we had literally been living out of a church food pantry. We were eating beans and rice constantly and Jiffy cornbread mix and anything that was 99 cents or below. Uh, we had gotten to a place in, in that time where we literally could not afford toilet paper. And it was, a, it was a hard moment, a hard realization. I was selling things left and right on Craigslist. I had sold thousands of dollars of stuff between tables and rugs and couches and pictures and you name it. It was like somebody would come to pick up one thing on Craigslist and I would say, anything you see is for sale because we were just trying to keep the lights on at this point. And 
Um, you wouldn't have known it from the outside looking in. Uh, we didn't tell a whole lot of people, but this is the place we were at when we made a decision to dream. To, and, and we began with the end in mind. And the end for us was financial freedom. But all I could see in that moment, my why was I am so sick of eating beans and rice. I am so tired of... Um, of not having stuff and literally scrounging or standing in the grocery store line and watching somebody grab a pack of gum and toss it on top of their grocery pile and not even think about the 99 cents they're spending. And I'm going, I'm standing behind them holding my few things going, I don't even know if I have enough for this stuff. And I don't know if you've ever been there, um, but I knew that that was a why that was driving me is I want to change this current situation that we are in. I want to breathe a little. I want to be able to pay the bills this month. So that's what I saw. Okay, so then I have to ask myself, so if we're doing this exercise, I'd say why? Why was it important to me um, to have that financial freedom and, and really make a change there? And I would say, to, to answer that, I would say, well, because we had made a conscious choice to not have a job at this point. Nathan had been offered numerous jobs but it would have required a move for us. And we'd only moved to Nashville 16 months prior, and we knew we were not to uproot, uproot our family again. And the arena that he was in, it felt like for some reason that that season for us was ending and we couldn't figure it out. There was a lot of prayer we didn't understand, but we consciously said no to some of these other jobs so that we could create and begin to create a different life for ourselves. And then I want you to ask yourself, okay, why? Why, again, why, why was it important for us to create financial freedom, okay? Why was it important for us to say no to those jobs and to, to take a risk, a mask of risk, and start a network marketing business, which we all know does not pay you a ton on the front end, so how are we gonna feed a family of five on a new fledgling business? Why was it important that we took that risk and really persevered and did that? And I would say because it was important for us to be home together. It was important for us to, to spend more time with our children. Um, we wanted not only financial freedom, we wanted time freedom, okay? Ask yourself again on your paper, now we're on four, why? Why was it important for us Nathan and Jenny Oates to create time freedom for ourselves and be with our children more. Well, because I really value being with my family and I really believe that it was crucial at the stage that we were at as a family that we had Nathan home with us. He had been in a position where he worked 50 to 70 hour weeks a lot of times. Um, he was out sometimes four, five, six nights a week and we didn't see him all too often on the, on the evenings. It was important that he tucked our kids in bed and did more than that, that he was present and with them and a part of their life. Okay, why Jenny? Why is that so important to you that Nathan's a part of your life and, and the kids' lives? Why is it so important to you to do something so drastic that you create a situation where all of you can be together. Why? Why is that so important? And I would have to answer that and say, because we lost a child. Because we knew what it was like to not have that time. We tasted what it was like to not be together and to not get those moments. And it is vitally important to me to redeem the time, to buy back time, to do whatever I have to do to create a scenario in our life where we're together, where we get to be together and see our kids grow up together and just have the tiniest conversations together because I'll never get that with my son, Hosea. And Nathan was really busy in that season. And if he was standing here talking to you now, I'm sure there would be tears in his eyes saying, because he missed a lot. He missed a lot in that season with our son. Neither one of us knew that we were only gonna get a short window of time with our son. But I'll tell you, that short window and that life that I had with my son marked me forever. I will never be the same. I will never look at time the same. That is why I'm doing my business. So do you see the exercise that I just took you through is a crucial exercise for you. 
And it was important for me because if I'd stopped at that surface outer layer, kind of think of it like an onion, if I'd started at that first peeling, all you would have heard me say is, oh my gosh, I'm starting this business because I'm so sick of eating beans and rice. <laughs> and wow, okay, that's something I can get passionate about. That's something I can get behind. Uh, maybe, what happens when our first bonus check comes in? What happens when we hit that first rank where we've checked that and we've accomplished that? Do I lose my passion because I'm now eating something other than beans and rice? We can add some chicken in there, you know? What happens if I stop at that next layer and say, well, I, I'm doing this because I really want financial freedom. Okay, well, when have we arrived at financial freedom? What's that number? What's that look like? And it's kind of so nebulous and it's so out there. I don't know if that's gonna be passionate, give me enough passion to really keep driving when there's hard days, because we all have hard days, right? We all get no's, or we all just plain don't feel like doing our business sometimes. Guess what, I'm raising my hand on that. Like, sometimes I don't feel like doing my business, so I need something more than I just want financial freedom. What is my financial freedom tied to? What is it anchored to? And if you keep going, it was time freedom. Okay, well maybe time freedom's a little bit bigger. Maybe these two are kind of tethered together, but what are they anchored in? And if we get all the way down to the core, they are anchored in the fact that we had a life experience that we cannot reverse and cannot change. But guess what? We can change the future. We can change how we live the rest of our life and doTERRA and this vehicle is a part of that. It is a part of helping us build the life that we want and accomplish that why and, and to get there. And so that is how every day I begin with the end in mind and I tell myself why I'm doing this business. So I want you to go through that exercise for yourself. I want you to put pen to paper. Don't just think about it because there's something very powerful about either speaking it, record yourself, or write it out. And ask yourself why up to seven times. Seven times, ask yourself why you're really doing this. And I guarantee you, you will get to the core of why you're doing this business. And if you've never told that why, that why to somebody, I want you to pick up the phone and I want you to call somebody. Maybe even three somebodies, three people in your life that are safe, three people that love you, three people that care about what makes your heart sing and what makes you tick. Call those three people and tell them today, after you do this exercise, tell them why you're really doing this. And that's when this gets fun. Because sometimes I don't always tell people that whole why. I don't tell people that all the time. I tell people I'm doing this for time and financial freedom. But if I have a conversation where it's, it's safe and it's right, then I say, can I tell you why I'm really doing this and what's really driving me is because I'm passionate about helping myself, but not only myself, other families to buy back time. I'm passionate about helping to create opportunities for families to continue to grow forward together and to, to maximize and be intentional with every moment that they have. That's what drives me. And so that's where my dream becomes not just about me. I begin to pull other people into that why with me. So oftentimes our why starts with us. And then as you grow in your business, you'll see that your why actually begins to encompass others. If it never flips to that, it's very unlikely you'll ever hit a massive level of success. You have to include others in your dream. You have to include other people into that process with you. And, and it's okay if, if you can't see that yet, but be mindful of this. And just like I did, I kind of revisited this and went back to the drawing board of like, okay, why are we really doing this? Why do we walk away from one business to start another? Um, and that's a whole nother exercise I can do for you right now is uh, many of you know we started in another company and literally walked away from that business after seven years of building, having a residual income, we walked away from it. I could do the same thing with this to say why. Why did we do that? What would cause us to do something so outlandishly crazy? I could tell you there's a really big why behind that. And that why is what fuels us and literally was like rocket fuel to us that allowed us to accomplish in doTERRA and do things in doTERRA that honestly I never dreamed were possible. But it was because our why was so strong this time, even stronger this time, 
um, that it was like jet fuel to us. So use even our life as an example for you to say, maybe you don't do the exact same thing we've done and that's okay. This is a, your business and it's your journey and how you live this out is up to you. And maybe your why isn't some massive thing yet. That's okay. Um, but really just allow the process of this to kind of sink in. Some of you want to like get the answer and have it done and check the box and move on. But I really want to challenge you in wrapping this up. I just want to challenge you to sit in it. Be okay if you don't have the full why. Be okay if you don't have the full answer, but wrestle with this. Grapple with it a little bit till you get to that true, deep, core why that you're doing your business. Because again, if you don't have that, you don't have the fuel to propel you forward to make it through the hard times. John Maxwell is a, a, one of my mentors. He's a mentor to me through a cup of coffee and reading his books and listening to his podcast every single day. I've been in mastermind groups almost for two years surrounding his material and I have learned a lot about leadership. And one of my most recent masterminds is um, it's on dreaming. Um, he has a whole book about how to dream. And one of the things that he, he describes a dream so powerfully, he says, a dream is an inspiring picture of the future um, that energizes your mind, energizes your will and emotions, and it empowers you to do everything you can to achieve it. And a dream is worth pursuing. It, it's worth um, pursuing as um, a if you have this picture, if you have a blueprint of really your potential and your purpose, and that's what we're getting at here, go beyond just, I love essential oils. That can be the beginning, but what's your purpose? What's your potential? Really ask yourself those tough questions, and I guarantee you, if you do, and if you can sit in that and wrestle with that, it took me, I can't even tell you, it's taken me a 10 year journey to finally nail that. So do not be frustrated if you don't get it in 10 minutes. You can get to the core pretty quickly for most of us, but to really get to your purpose and to really begin to accept your potential, it's taken me 10 years to get there. Some of you, I, I think I have a little bit of a hard head. Um, it's, it just takes me a while. <laughs> so some of you are a way faster study than that. So that's great. But I just want to encourage those of you that are wired, like I want it quick, I want it now, to be okay with the process. That do what's set before you today as you're wrestling with some of these deeper things. Because I guarantee you the wrestle's worth it. That wrestling and that grappling is worth it. And the process in this whole time, because I was faithful to just continue to do what's set before me, we've grown something and built something that's lasting, that has a legacy. And in the midst of it, along the way, that purpose and that potential has been realized. And it's just jet fuel that's gonna take us into the future. So I encourage you to do this exercise on why and finding your why and really tapping into even your future dream discovering a little bit more of your purpose, a little bit more of your potential, and all of us, let's begin today with the end in mind.